Hello everyone, I'm Sekar Sanding Pinanti and on behalf of my fellow authors, Ibu Dini Handayani and Pak Tugu Darkanto, today I'll be presenting our study entitled Freed from Child Marriage, The Impact of School Vocational Assistance on Child Marriage in Indonesia. First, let me set the scene with several facts. In Indonesia, the rate of child marriage among women aged 20 until 24 is still quite high at around 11.3% as per 2018. This number has only been reduced by around 3% within the period of 10 years from 2008 until 2018. Moreover, despite the internationally accepted definition of child marriage, which is any marriage involving an individual under the age of 18, the national minimum age of marriage for girls in Indonesia was still set at 16 years old up until 2019. Many believe that the solution for the problem of child marriage is education. However, the relationship between education and child marriage is actually quite complex. On one hand, education can increase a girl's knowledge and autonomy and therefore lead to her delaying her age at first marriage. But on the other hand, Early marriage and childbearing may actually be the very reason for a girl to leave school in the first place. So to account for this indigeneity problem, we have exploited the introduction of school vocational assistance or BOSS as an exogenous variable indicating a sudden increase in education attainment in Indonesia. To elaborate further, school vocational assistance or BOSS was first introduced in 2005 as a nationwide school subsidy program or elementary and middle schools in Indonesia. BOS is the earliest and the largest major education policy after a long absence of any major education policy since the New Order era. BOS is expected to reduce the economic burden of households due to the increasing costs of energy at the time, and its main goal is to achieve nine years of mandatory schooling in Indonesia. Previous literature had found that major education policies, especially a shift to universal education, have resulted in reductions of early childbearing and child marriage among girls in their respective countries. However, many of these studies were conducted in sub-Saharan African countries. But we believe that the same case may actually apply for Indonesia as well. So to summarize, we think that school operational assistance will lead to longer years of schooling for girls and through school's curriculum, socialization with peers, and higher access to media, a girl will become more knowledgeable and therefore it will reduce her probability of child marriage. To prove this, we have adopted the methodology of Makate Makate, which is a fuzzy regression discontinuity design using IP Probit consisting of two stages of regression. In the first stage regression, the dependent variable is a girl's years of schooling, and the independent variables include the treatment dummy, which I will explain further later, the age in 2005, which is the year BOSS was first implemented, the interaction between treatment and age, and several control variables, which are the rural or urban location, poor or non-poor status, and the island's fixed effects. In the second stage regression, the dependent variables are the binary variables of married before 18 or 16, and the independent variables include the predicted years of schooling, which we obtained from the first stage regression, a girl's age in 2005, and the same control variables as the first stage regression. We use a cooled data set of Indonesia's demographic and health survey from the year 2002 until 2017, and we limit our sample to women aged 18 or over during the time of the survey. We used 16 years old in 2005 as a cutoff point because, as we can see here in the, in the plot, those who are older than 16 years old in 2005 has a visibly lower years of average schooling. Because of this, we believe that um, those who are older than 16 at the time are not exposed to the benefits of BOSS because BOSS within itself is targeted for elementary and middle schools, and those who are older than 16 we believe are already out of middle school or even out of school and therefore they do not receive the benefits of BOSS. Because of this, we define treatment as those who are 16 or younger in 2005. 
From our sample, we have found that the average years of schooling is around 9.8 years and around 31.2% of our sample was exposed to bus or treatment. And the average age in 2005 is around 19 years old. And we have also found that around 23.4% of our sample was married under the age of 15 and around 8.6% of our sample was married under the age of 16. From our first stage regression, we have found that exposure to BOSS is correlated to an increase in the years of schooling by around 0.2 years. And consequently, an additional one year of schooling significantly reduces the probability of child marriage under the age of 16 by around 2.2% and child marriage under the age of 18 by around 4.2%. We believe that there are three possible pathways through which BOSS influences the probability of child marriage. The first one being mass media, because several studies have found that more educated women consume mass media more frequently, and therefore they are more likely to be informed about the risks of marriage and child bearing. Next, socialization with peers is also a possible pathway, because several research have found that the youth is more comfortable in talking about these topics with their own peers, and they are also more susceptible to peer influence, especially with regard to demographic behaviors such as marriage or sexual activity. Next, the school's curriculum can also be a possible pathway because it has been found that curriculums that include empowerment and explains the risks of child marriage can actually keep girls in school longer. However, there is a problem in Indonesia in which several schools or teachers avoid these topics because it is considered a taboo. In conclusion, we have found that uh, an exposure to BOSS increases the girls' years of schooling by around 0.2 years and consequently, a one-year increase in schooling reduces a girl's probability to get married under the age of 18 by around 4.2% and get married under the age of 16 by around 2.2%. However, further analysis regarding the channels through which BOSS influences child marriage is still needed to, to provide a more conclusive answer. In these findings, we believe that the government should provide other forms of assistance that complements BOSS's impacts on education, such as school buses, school supplies, and other means to reduce the economic burden of households to send their girls to school. Next, the government should also improve reproductive health education within the school's curriculum and utilize the role of mass media to disseminate the information of reproductive health and the risks of marriage to girls. This study is limited in several ways, the first one being the censoring of the years of schooling data for the newest survey of DHS because some of the girls surveyed are still within the age of schooling and therefore they may not actually have finished their total years of schooling. Furthermore, our analysis regarding the pathways through which BOSS influences the probability of child marriage is still quite limited and therefore we encourage further research on the subject. Thank you very much for your attention and we're open for inputs and questions.